mine And burn land in Calico All the while after rains out Down the road to the bank one way yeah. All the batty clout No one ever wants to listen until it's too late Hazard lights and downhill grades and sips and shoulder blades, some love. All right, I am standing here with Josh, who I just met. He's uh, enjoying the beautiful music here in Ashland. Uh, we're at Triangle Park, and who knows what we're going to talk about, but here we go. What's going on, Josh? Hey, man, I'm just hanging out. Uh, just came from a uh, working, actually, on a farm, and uh, the farm is uh, was, it's called 12 Tribes, and uh, it's a community, and uh, they have goats and chickens, and uh, been working in the greenhouse seeding some stuff for uh, the springtime and uh, I just came to Asheville to check out the uh, music. I'm a singer and drummer and I've been a drummer and singer for ever since I was probably four and uh, yeah I'm from originally I grew up in Tupelo Mississippi the home of Elvis Presley and on a tour bus I traveled about 35 different states and uh, yeah, I just started singing, and uh, that's how I learned how to play the drums. Wow, at and, four. Uh, yeah, four years old. So you had like a, a so people fostered that in your life, or absolutely, yeah. It was actually we were singing for our bread and butter, literally. Really, it was to raise money for the children's home. Wow. And, uh, the t children's home was Tupelo Children's Mansion. Yeah. Uh, I grew up about two miles from Elvis's birthplace. And uh, his influence is really heavy on I me. Mean, when I sing, people said, "Yeah, you got that, that, that soul singing, rocking type of style." And it was called the King's Kids. Was the name of the band? No the way. Group. Yeah. I bet. I bet and, that brings uh, back memories. Oh man. Oh yes, absolutely. I haven't been there in many, many years, but I want to go there and uh, just revisit my childhood. It was about 50 acres at this children's home. Wow. And. Uh, they taught us how to sing different harmony parts, four-part harmony, and uh, we just traveled the country on a, a Greyhound tour bus. You know, I was going to ask, was traveling a part of like oh, music to you? And... It's huge, it's everything. It's, it's actually, I travel everywhere. Wow. I've been to Nashville, played drums in Nashville, yeah. and definitely my childhood has really just made me who I am today, the music-wise, and I learned how to play the drums. From I believe I can't remember his name, but the guy who taught me how to play the drums was I believe the drummer for the Fabulous Thunderbirds. No way. At a music store in Tupelo, Mississippi. Wow. And for charity, something like he taught a lot of the, the children how to play musical instruments. Yeah. And that's it's always stuck with me. So I just travel from town to town playing and singing. What a t what a fantastic thing to share! It's like a wave that never crashes. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. It's just ever evolving. You know. It's incredible. You so go you, from one wave to another. So you've been here for four days in Asheville? Four days in Asheville. Now, had, you, actually, had you traveled far to get here? I travel from uh, Oak Ridge, Tennessee. I'm familiar. Yeah. Where I'm the recently, nuclear bomb was invented by Einstein. What is it? Oh, yes. He, yes. like, invented it in some, like, furniture factory that was really an undercover military base where they, like, he invented the nuclear bomb, like, right there where, yeah, in Oak Ridge, oh, yeah. for real. That's right. Bunch of military stuff that direction. That's right. And I believe he was Ashkenazi. He was a Jewish fellow. And um, so, yeah, Oak Ridge, Tennessee is where I met my 
wife, and we're wow. recent, I'm recently divorced, mm -hmm. so I'm back traveling again and uh, pursuing my music <laughs> and my singing. So, well, uh, I would love to hear some now, but honestly, do you have any type of like links to any social I media or anything we could share with this? I don't, but uh, you will definitely be hearing from me. I plan on plan on playing in one of the bars here in Nash uh, Asheville. Fantastic. So that's my goal, and work day labor during the day and uh, play singing at night. So. Well, so what uh, what got you down the path of oh, music? Never mind, that's an easy one. All right, let yeah. me let me throw see if I can come up with a tough one. So, uh, what would you say was the most prestigious moment in your in your music history that you were just really not even about pride, but you were just really you Absolutely. know satisfied? Do you have like a moment that really just struck? Yeah, it was. Uh, well, the, the children's home was ran by an organization is the UPC, United Pentecostal Church. It was religious. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, they have a gathering every year. And one this one particular time, they rented out uh, the New Orleans, uh, the arena where the, uh, the Saints play. Yeah. And they filled it with about 23,000 people. Wow. And I remember as a kid looking up at all these faces, you know, and I was nervous, but yet, that's a good thing, because anytime you have butterflies, it's a great thing, because you could turn that energy right into the singing and the music vibe and just bless and just cover the people with good joy for sure. and happiness. And that was my moment. I was probably 10 when I started singing from this crowd of like 20 some thousand oh people in New Orleans Stadium. What a dream. this gathering. So that was my, that was in the people, just the sound was amazing after, I've never experienced the roar of a crowd like that. It That's fantastic. Awesome. I mean, it and you've awesome. you've been giving so much. It's nice, you know, right. to yeah. feel to feel that sometimes, you know. Absolutely, because really, you know, whatever we're given, we're supposed to give it away. So, my gift is singing. So, to make the people joyful and then put smiles on their face, I sing. So I'm giving back to the universe. So. Well, I really uh, am thankful for having met you and, and thank you for sharing so much and being so open. And I look forward to following, you know, to see maybe I can catch you at one of these bar singings shortly. Absolutely, you will. Great. I will be there. Well, Josh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. Thank you. Yeah, of course.